So, yeah, I'd say I'd view it more okay. fondly through, like, my younger self. Yeah, I'd say so, definitely, because... Oh, shit. <laughs> That's... Okay. Um, sorry, sorry. Well, shrubs a lot. Okay, so I think with my hometown, I'd say there's like a mix okay, cool. of like comfort um, and Wait, Georgia, did you want to answer that question again? And there's also like a disconnect. Like so much has happened here, which has like shaped me in like some core memories, um, but there's also a weird kind of disconnect. I, know, well, I, I always talk shit about Colchester. But I don't think I actually hate living here. I think it's more... My hometown just... means a lot to me because... Obviously, I've grown up here. Like, I have a lot of fond childhood memories here because I live in what would you call my neighbourhood? Like a closed-off neighbourhood. Yeah. Uh, so I've always had kind of. To be honest, I don't really know. I just think forgiveness means that kind of fully trusting like, someone. Really Again, if like whether that that trust has been like, lost before. In my and I always really enjoyed that. Um, I think like growing up I've kind of felt more of a disconnect to it because I don't know if I'd consider it my hometown because the things that have shaped me more haven't been from here I don't feel like I grow as a person here I feel like things happen but the growth happens like elsewhere yeah I, th- I think that's totally true because I think yeah no a like major part of forgiveness is like I don't know getting rid of all like the bad like the resentment and like anger you have about you know that person or what they've done because it's like yeah if you just hold on to that that's like really damaging to yourself you know yeah it's okay to take time to forgive them don't feel pressured to forgive has shaped me because i well it just feels safe even if i'm so cut off from everyone i mean I would say no to love with like another person because I haven't really had that relationship but I guess I would say I love a lot of things. Um, right. Do you think you have ever experienced Like I love many things in life which make me happy but I haven't shared a mutual relationship of love with someone. I'd say it has made spending time with people more important because travel is a big aspect um, like in my life because I travel to see everyone I know. Like I can't just walk outside my house and there be people there. Wait, we literally <laughs> grew up so differently yeah. like us both in solitude and travel. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah, most likely. Um, I would say that my parents have like a lot of influence in kind of, I guess, my thoughts and beliefs. And I also think that a big part of other people where I live, like, I still view it through like my younger self. If that makes sense, because. has affected the way that I appreciate people more. So.